Hi, I'm making this little screencast to show you the workflow for using MarkStat with Stata. Um, so I'm assuming you've already installed MarkStat, you've already issued those where is commands to tell Stata where to find key, those things like Pandoc. So if you ha are having problems with that, don't forget to file an issue on the GitLab website. So uh, first thing I want you to notice is um, our home current working directory is this folder right here and my username is screencast so it's basically my my home directory okay so Stata by default is always going to look for files in that working directory and that just happens to be my home directory now okay so let's suppose I want to start a problem set document and I'm going to use a do file editor for that so the thing I want you to notice here is Stata is going to try, try and use a do extension. By extension I mean it's the thing to the right of this period. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start editing my Stata mark, or mark stat file. And let's see, August 2018. Ridicule, ridicule, ridiculously simple um, because this is about the mechanics of running things. Okay, so let's save that. I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to just save it into another folder. And you might save it into uh, problem set one folder, for example, wherever you organize your work. Okay, I'm going to call this test.stmd. This is critical. Stata markdown files that we're using with our uh, markstat, I'm sorry, markstat, need to have an STMD extension. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And you might think and be ready to, to run this using execute. If we do that, you're going to get error messages. As long as your STMD file has syntax that isn't valid Stata do file syntax, you're going to get errors. The whole point of using markstat is we're going to add additional syntax features like these percentages and headers for titles and authors to make better looking documents. So we cannot, when we're using our Stata markdown for markstat, we cannot use this execute command to build our document. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come over here to the command window and we're going to use the mark stat, stat command. Mark stat using test doc x. All right. So test is the name of the mark stat file to the left of the STMD extension. So it's this part of the name of the file. Okay. Um, and I'm going to create a Word document. So I'm using this docx option. And that option is going to be to the right of a comma. Mm -hmm. So I issue that command. I'm going to get an error message because Stata is looking for test in the wrong directory. We need to set our working directory or our current directory using a command like this. Of course, it's going to be different on your computer depending on where your work is. Okay, now we can recycle that command. And Stata's going to try to open that. And on my computer, it gives a little message, uh, error, because it's trying to put these these uh, parentheses around them. So we open that up. Zip. There it goes. We have our, <coughs> our Word document for our problem set. Okay. So as you're producing your state of markdown, you might be opening up your Word document. After you've looked at it for a while and you've interacted with your markstat stmd file, I think you really need to keep this file closed for any time you rebuild the, and by rebuild I mean any time you run a command like this, that's going to that's going to rebuild the docx file. Okay. Well, 
One thing that students might not like about this workflow is that it's awfully difficult to run Stata commands um, because you're used to using this arrow key here. All right. So one thing I would I would encourage students to do is create another folder file that's going to be a do file that's only going to contain Stata syntax. So suppose you wanted to open some data and run a regression. Okay. So we can hit our use our arrow run command over here and it executes fine or no error messages because check it out this is valid Stata syntax okay it doesn't have any of those special characters for bulleted lists for LaTeX math for headers anything like that okay I'm going to save this as a companion file for our project it's going to be in the same working directory as our STMD file except I'm going to save it as a do file and then we know it we know it's valid we can run that code again but we're not going to once you're happy with code you can go in and start including it in your STMD file remember state of code needs to be indented So this is going to be a title, header information. This is going to be narrative. This is going to be state of code and results in terms of our, our final document. And then this goes back into a narrative section that, that would describe the results. So I save that. Then I can go back over here and reissue my mark stack command. And let's reopen that docx file and notice that this is looking pretty good this is exactly what we would expect to see it's got the title the date the author our little narrative it has state of code it has state of results and then it has some more narrative at the bottom okay so that describes the workflow for running Stata commands, for running these markstat commands, and again, I would encourage you to, con to do your initial work using just do files, and then maybe when you're putting it all together, that's when you convert everything to an STMD file, and you mix in narrative with code with other things okay so I hope that was helpful uh, again any issues that you have go ahead and post those to GitLab and I'm pretty responsive on that so I'll see you on Monday